looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the Black History promo that did just drop into Madden 21, guys. Super excited to get into it. See what's up. Probably not too much day one, of course. Because you're kind of building up towards a free 95 over the course of three drops. So there'll definitely be more as we do go through this. But this is the starting stuff. Let's open up our Good Morning Madden pack. Let's pull an NFL Honors card real quick. Guys, that would be... That, that would make my day. If I could, Imagine pulling an NFL Honor card out of a Good Morning Madden pack. That would be the culmination of my Madden career. But here we go. Black History Month is live in the game. Celebrate the achievements of, of a black NFL icon each week throughout February. Each week, play challenges to earn a Nat 90 overall version of the featured player. Complete all three weeks to earn a Nat 95 overall version of any of the featured players. So, three weeks. Let's just say week one's Fritz Pollard. And let's say week three is Colin Kaepernick, and week two is, let's just say Bo Jackson, right, for, for, for uh, educational purposes here. Come week three, when it's over, there will be a set. You put all three of those players in, and you will be able to get an NFL overall of any of those players. You can pick, like, I want Bo, I want Fritz, or I want Colin Kaepernick, right? Let's just say, it's not going to be Bo, and the jury's still out on Kaepernick. But so far, we've got Fritz Pollard. But let's move it on, guys. So we click into it. Just one year after leading Akron to a championship in 1920 as one of the fiercest running backs ever, Fritz Pollard went on to become the first um, African-American coach in NFL history. Complete the five Fritz Pollard challenges. There are 90 overall Fritz Pollard. You go to solos and you click over here. Week one, Fritz Pollard. Fritz Pollard was the first, Af uh, the first black football player at Brown University and led his team to the 1916 Rose Bowl. He was the first black running back to be named a member of the Walter of Walter's Camp All-America All -America team. Uh, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a typo, America or all. All-America team, All-American, whatever. Moving on down, guys, so there's five total solos. Are they full games? Uh, no, just score a rushing touchdown. They're going to be moments, so even better. Now, the only one maybe the last one. The last one may be a full game. That sucks. That sucks. That might, that might be a full game. But otherwise, otherwise, the other ones don't look too bad. Okay, so this, these aren't horrible. You could knock those out, you know, rather fast. But, guys, before we get into the rest of the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, always smash the like button, guys. Helps out the channel a lot. And comment down below, who is your prediction for the featured players of the Black History Month promo? Let me know down below, guys. Super interested. Like I said, I want a cap. I'm hoping for a cap. Uh, fun quarterback to have back in Madden while also paying appreciation to the history. But otherwise, guys, that's about it. If you guys need coins for anything to pick up some players, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle uh, for a discount at checkout. Let's see what else we got here. We back on out. Uh, these are the solos, obviously. This is just week one. There's not going to be too much uh, here to be seen, obviously, of course, because it is just going to be a, uh, you know, there's no, there's, there's no way to make money off this. There's no really packs. Now, in terms of, like I said, will Kaepernick be great, guys? Kaepernick would be a amazing quarterback if they gave him the right overall. They mainly give, they're going to give him a 95, though, right? I don't know if he'd be a meta quarterback because he's going to be too low of an overall, but he would for sure be fun. Now, again, I'm not going to hold my breath for it. We know how this goes. But again, uh, it's going to be fun. You know, there's no packs. They're not trying to monetize it, surprisingly. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't try to use Black History Month for uh, currency purposes. Now, nonetheless, guys, it's a cool promo. I like it. I mean, it's a 90 overall now. 90 over. You're getting three free 90 overalls. If you're a budget squad, you're probably ecstatic. And then a 95. For like for a budget squad, so let's say, you know, take it apart from what it stands for, like Madden purposes. For a budget squad, you're getting three free 90s, and then you're getting a 95. Now, if you have to turn them in, I wonder if you get those 90s back Nat though. It would suck if you can't, but... Still a free player. Can't go wrong with the free 95. Take advantage of that, guys. Uh, definitely exciting. Now, of course, I don't know how they're going to do this. I think they should have made it a little bit longer, like maybe seven solo sequences, like 1920s, 30s, 40s. Maybe do one player from each decade, right, every 10 years, all the way up until now, starting like maybe the 1940s instead, and, you know, make it a little quicker. But I think that would have been fun to do instead of just doing three total. It would have given you much more featured players, right? Maybe one running back, one wide receiver, one defensive tackle, one quarterback, one safety. You know, get like almost a lot, you know, a lot of positions all around the field. Hopefully these three feature players. So far we got a running back. Most people probably won't take him because it's going to be a 95 running back that you're stuck with. We're probably going to want more of a depth position. So we have to remain, it remains to be seen what we end up doing with that. But guys, I do want to open a few packs here before we head on out of this video. The NFL honors are in packs right now, right? We have uh, Derrick Henry. I believe we have Derrick Henry. Uh, hmm. Alex Smith? Yeah, right there. Oh, it's right there. Derrick Henry, Alex Smith, Brandon Linder, and Tremaine Edmonds. What will be the best pack for this? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to go with the All-Pro, I think. 91 plus is 5%. And then 
92 plus a 7. Yeah, I'm going with the, I'm gonna go with the clutch pack. Hold up. I don't have a lot of coins, obviously. We can always go, you know, quick sell some stuff. We have to. We get a decent looking card there. Brandon Ayuk, a Redux card. Okay, we get a superstar MVP card. That's not too bad. Garrett Bowles. We get an elite right there. 81 DJ Reader. A silver. A rookie. Okay. That that pack was trash. Pack was garbage. But we never pulled an LTD before, so you got to keep chugging along, right? Eventually, it has to happen. Now, I wonder if it comes down to, like, it's all about pulling in quantity, right? Because I always pull, like, in short intervals. I, you may pull 100 packs. I may pull 100 packs. You pull them in, like, a week. I pull them one at a time. So maybe that's why I never pull anything. And I, I never opened in depth. That This pack was horrible. Oh, my Lord. That pack was horrible. We're going to open up one more and see if we can pull anything, guys. I mean, as every day withers on further, guys, our chance is less and less. Full legend here. 92 Leroy Selman. That's it. An elite. You know, that's not going to be great. 80 Yannick Ngakwe. EA, EA is always homing, guys. There is no shot of ever pulling an LTD here. For real, for real, like, I don't even know what to do at this point. Is it me? It's got to be me, right? It's got to be me. I see you guys always adding me on Twitter and always commenting. You pulled an LTD. Zerk's always calling me every day. Uh, pulled an LTD. I don't get it. I don't get it. I understand people spend a certain amount of money, but... Come on, it gets to a point where, you know, you add up all my years worth. I, I Yeah, I've done my due diligence. I've spent my money. I've spent... I, I've done enough. But, yeah, let's see what we... I just want to know what... Are they even worth it? Because, like, the LTDs these days aren't like they used to be, right? Back in the back in the day, like the Madden Madden day, uh, coins weren't like this. So, back then, LTDs were like... They would go for, like... Oh, my... It's okay. There was a few LTDs. Some went for, like, 500k, 600k. Those weren't LTDs. Those were just super rare cards. They used to be collections uh, that, like, were collected cards and uncollected cards. So... Those cards just go for like 400k, 500k. If you hit that, you're rich. Because back then, you could build a whole team like 9 and overall Deion Sanders was like 25,000 coins. Because back then, solos would only pay out like 2k, 3k, 4k. There wasn't many ways to make coins like that back then. So back then, a banger banger used to be like, I would say 400k, right? But then there was these special cards, like these cards that were like 1 of 10. Or like these super, super 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.0001% card that's like limited Bojack that no one in the world had. Like literally there was one in the block ever. 3 million coins. If you got that card, you were crazy. Or the Marshawn Lynch Halloween card. Like they were some crazy stuff. Those were when LTDs were a little more exciting. But I mean 700k, you know, it's still a good pull, but coins aren't as valuable as they used to be in terms of like how you view them, right? It used to be like you get 500k, 700k, you're ready to roll. Now it's like 700k is like, oh, okay, that's good. But in, after reduction and sets and everything, you end up just blowing it. I mean, you really do. And that's just kind of sucks. I feel like they used to be they used to go a lot further with their coins back then. Derrick Henry's expensive. Damn, 1.3 mil for Derrick Henry. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of coins. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't think they'd be that expensive. At least Chase Young's on the cheaper side uh, for the most part. But guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn turn on the noti bell. Comment down below who do you think the featured uh, Black History Month player will be. Comment down below. I want to see what you guys are thinking. Like I said, I'm hoping for a cap, but. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Comment down below and like the video, guys. It helps out tremendously to so keep that up. Turn the noti bell. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm out. Peace.